Good morning and thank you for joining us today. Our presider is our pastor, Father Fernando Molino Restrepo. And since it is the feast day of St. Gregory, I couldn't resist doing an old chestnut for a gathering song. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us plead to God for mercy and forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with a spirit of wisdom, those to whom you had given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. From the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, for it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So, let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. He founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive 
a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were watching their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we had worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment, at the catch of fish they had made seats him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be crushing men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us offer our petitions for the needs of our community and the needs of the Universal Church. And to each intercession we'll say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for Pope Francis as he leads the church. May the Lord grant him the wisdom, the strength that he needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for our country. May the Lord Keep us united in one purpose for the good of, our, of the nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are sick, members of our parish family and our own families. 
May the Lord grant healing and strength to those who are suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the repose of the soul of Nancy Griffith, for whom we offer this Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pause and pray for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the faithfully departed. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. We present these petitions to you, God Almighty Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John Harmeyer, our Archbishop, our Auxiliary Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless the Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. And now let us pray in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God, do you take away the sins of the world? Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Bread of life, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. of the world. Grant us peace, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. If you've joined us for this Mass online, please pray this prayer at this time. My Jesus, on the day of my baptism, you poured your love into my heart through the Holy Spirit, who unites me eternally to you. Through that same Spirit, I pledge my love and adore you, present in your most holy body and blood. Though I cannot consume you in this sacred banquet, let me be consumed by your complete desire for me so that my longing for you may be filled by your love alone and your mercy overflow through me into this world so in need. Amen. Creator all may see the room Eternal lux credenti Jesu redemptor omnium, in tende poti supplicum. Creator of the stars of night, who shape the sky's eternal lights, O Christ, Redeemer of us all, bend near and hear us when we call. O love that bore our human form, O tiny child of lowly birth, let now your love be born in us, till peace and justice fill the earth. Give us a love that never dies, a vision of the world to come. When all oppression finally ends And all the homeless find a home When 
children teach the strong and proud when all the hungry have their fill when the rich no longer use the poor when guns and bombs no longer kill oh god who brought all life to birth O oh Christ, who wore love's human face, O oh Spirit, making life undo, grant us your wisdom, love, and grace. Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory the Great, they may learn your truth and express, express it in works of charity. Through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.